Prosecutors have laid out what they believe Alec Murdoch's motive is for, or was for allegedly killing his wife and son. This comes after a request for Murdoch's attorneys. News 2's Hannah Powers joins us in this studio and after looking through pages of documents, Hannah, break down some of those claims by the attorneys. Well, Carolyn, essentially the argument that the state is making is that they believe Murdoch committed the murders to distract from the financial crimes he is also accused of committing. Murdoch is currently tied up in crimes that accuse him of trying to steal more than $8 million from clients. In today's 23-page response, the state essentially responds that they will need to introduce some of these other crimes to show motive. Prosecutors say much of their evidence revolves around the summer 2021 night that Paul and Maggie Murdoch were killed, but they also say they'll use evidence detailing Murdoch's alleged drug use and financial crimes to help paint a clear picture for the jury. The state says this will be necessary to show how Murdoch, someone at the time of the murders, had no criminal record and a highly respected reputation and law firm, would be capable of committing such heinous acts. In South Carolina, you do not have to prove a motive, but the whole point is helping the jury understand the why when the case goes to trial. Now, Murdoch's defense team will respond to the state's latest filing at a hearing in Colleton County tomorrow in front of Judge Clifton Newman, and the judge will decide what will be allowed to be presented to a jury. As of right now, the trial has a start date of January 23rd. Live in the studio, I'm Hannah Powers. Count on two.